YouTuber Drunk 3PO launches Acromatic Chronicles Green pre-order campaign for all new graphic novel. This is freaking awesome. It was released on midnight of um of uh, what's it called again? Pacific time uh on Wednesday. So I mean Wednesday to Thursday. So if you guys haven't already done so, go ahead and check out Acromatic Chronicles Green. This is freaking awesome. Uh, the first one did bonkers. It did a lot. Um, now everyone is, you know, waiting for the second one. I'm glad Jay has finally like finished it and Ripa Sen is getting it out. So, uh, mods, if you haven't already done so yeah, thank you so much. Nagarnal for dropping the link to that, but this is freaking awesome. I'm glad uh, you love to see it. Uh, and, uh, we finally getting something out, man. Like I remember I posted it on, on, on exercise. You know how long I've been waiting for this. Oh, but I'm like, yeah, but yeah, this is a freaking cool. I'm glad. And um, I'm going to pick up an order probably after the stream. I'll probably buy two books. One for me, one for Gray. Jay David, better known as many, sorry, better known to many as YouTuber Shrunk 3PO has launched pre-order campaign via Ripasend for his new graphic novel, Acromatic Chronicles Green. This marks the first major campaign from Ripasend, a platform that specializes in publishing, distribution, and fulfillment for creators of all sizes. Now, I wonder if I would come out with a um, a Coom book, and it's basically a thin book with all the pages stuck together. I wonder if people will buy it like that. Chat, would you guys buy it? Yeah, Jay. Jay is so cool. He has two. He has. He has two. He has two first names in his name. All right. So it's already look in the first day. I already made twenty five thousand dollars. That's pretty damn awesome. See, a seventy five day campaign is off to a strong start. Having as of writing this made thirty one thousand two hundred and ninety nine dollars of his fifty thousand dollar goal. Jay is the author of this work with illustrations done by Eric Hodson. On the official Ripasend campaign page, the Acromatic Chronicle series it is described as a story. Sorry, as stories that promise to inspire, captivate, and entertain readers of all ages. The official synopsis of the story for Acromatic Chronicles reads, quote, The Acromatic Chronicles is a captivating series following young John from the Grey World, a place bare of color and steeped in monotony. John's curious nature and yearning to be different set him apart in a society where conformity reigns supreme. One fateful day, John meets Blue, a new friend who unveils a world brimming of colors, adventure, and limitless possibilities. Thus begins John's extraordinary journey, an odyssey teeming with pirates and queens. And hopefully these are the actual queens and not gay stuff. As he thrives, I'm sorry, strives to find his unique voice amidst a newly vibrant world. In Acromatic Chronicles Blue, he sorry, we witness John's transformation as he steps out of his grayscale existence and onto a colorful adventures that await him. With Acromatic Chronicles Green, the story expands on includes John's friend Fortuna and her quest to bring hope and individuality back to the gray world with the help of her new friend Green. Each book brings fresh stories, vibrant colors, and sorry, characters, and valuable inval sorry, invaluable. I'm, I'm a retard. Um, Lessons about self-discovery, courage, and importance of embracing one's uniqueness. This is awesome. I think this is a very good, timeless, evergreen kind of story where it, you can read it to anyone maybe in 50 years from now. You know, it'd be like, hey, back in my day, I knew a guy named Trunk 3 po Yeah, he came out with this book called Acromatic Chronicles Green. It's super cool and super awesome. Come check it out. Like, imagine saying that to your grandkids. That would be pretty damn cool. Because, And the thing is that the story is timeless. It's a... And it's a type of story where, like, you want to sort of just, like, go to distance and, you know, and, and, and like, sort of, like, discover one's um, own true meaning and courage. It's, it's, it's actually pretty damn cool. Now, imagine if it was my book. It's like, hey, check it out. This one is from Project Agro. It's called a Coom book. 
Uh, you can't really open it because the pages are stuck together, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Look, 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 look we got to get serious, okay? I'm, I'm sorry, Jay. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Um, when speaking with Jay earlier today, the YouTube sensation said <laughs> so that his readers can expect an all-age adventure series that helps young people realize they don't have to be perfect to have value and purpose. Uh, this campaign features exclusive pre-order packages that include Acromantic Chronicles Blue, Green, Collector's Edition for both books, CGC Graded Editions, exclusive t-shirts, Stress Ball Companions. That's actually really cool. Acromantic Chronicles is the latest in a series of independent creative projects to hit the comic book world. This ongoing trend seems poised to break in the tradition. Oh, sorry, the traditional comic book publishing industry that has for so long been dominated solely by Marvel and DC is led to a swell of popular creatives works rising up to the delight of quality starved the readers uh the uh the world over companies like Ripperverse and big man comics have seen great success in launching books at that breaks the the traditional mold creating a hot new market practically overnight which is really cool i'm, I'm i love seeing this kind of stuff and um David versus Goliath kind of stuff. And uh, people was like, hey, you're not going to be able to do anything. Your book isn't going to sell anything. Look, Jay proved him wrong. Ripper, young Ripper, um, Eric July proved him wrong. And uh, I think it's just, uh, you know, it's it's just really, really cool. Really cool. And uh, you'll have to see a big man comics also proved him wrong. And, um, you know, like, I think people are just tired of seeing a bunch of these really terribly written stories coming out from marvel and dc and that's the reason why like no one's reading comic books that's and like that that's that that's the reason why now here's the thing though if if you guys would like a coom book i will send it to you guys for free oh man oh okay i'll stop i'll stop sorry sorry jay sorry Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.